This award, designed and developed in collaboration with New York Academy of Sciences, has basically two fundamental beliefs and principles. First, innovative technology has the power to address the most significant challenges that we face faced today in the society. The second one is even more important. The scientists best poised to address India's greatest challenges are based right here in India. It is wonderful to be here on the occasion of the inaugural celebration of the Tata Transformation Prize. The Tata Transformation Prize serves as a beacon for innovative, forward-looking technological achievements aimed at addressing some of India's most critical challenges in areas related to food security, healthcare, and sustainability. The purpose of the prize is to acknowledge scientific work that also has the potential for significant impact on society. One of the key aspects of innovation today, all across the world, and especially in a very rapidly growing country such as India, is the pace at which not only scientific discoveries take place, but also the pace at which those discoveries are adapted by society. My personal hope is that the Tata Transformation Prize will galvanize both. Biotherapeutics are a bit more complex, and these are products that are given to patients suffering from complex diseases like cancer and autoimmune diseases. The important thing is that this class of products is quite expensive and as much as, you know, 100 to 1,000 times more expensive than the traditional biopharmaceutical products. What continuous processing is doing is it allows us to basically continue, you know, all the way through from one end to another uh, without taking a pause. The cost of production goes down by 50 to 75 percent and more importantly, the productivity as well increases by 10 to 15 times. I'm happy to say that you know, this price comes at a very opportune uh, moment. It comes at a time where we are done with what we can do in the lab. You know, the onus now is to bring these innovations you know, to the shop floor, collaborate with industries, and ultimately translate them into affordable biotherapeutics. better understanding of the microbiome in suppressive soil can be employed as a natural weapon to combat pathogens in an eco-friendly and sustainable manner. With the Tata Transformation Prize, we will do just that by inducing suppressiveness in soil devoid of their natural ability, generating a map of disease suppressiveness for the Indian context for the first time, and a strategy to induce suppressiveness in conducive soil will encourage an intelligent use of agrochemicals and bioresources in the farmlands and may serve as a giant leap forward towards sustainable agriculture. Despite their initial promise of being cheap, functional and endlessly recyclable materials, only about 9% of plastics are recycled today. So the eventual dream would be to put solid pet waste into a bioreactor that is filled with enzymes that degrade all of this down to the smallest building blocks that can then be turned back into pet. This demonstration, which we did last year, ended up being the first ever demonstration uh, of the ability of esterase enzymes to generate pure TPA or terephthalic acid from pet with both high yield as well as high purity. Today, the stars of this evening are, of course, the uh, winners of this transformative prize, Professor Anurag Rathod of IIT Delhi for the healthcare sector, and for the food security winner, Dr. Silpa Sharma from IIT Delhi, and for sustainability, the winner, Professor Gupta Sharma from IIS Mohali. Look at their work. Really, really transformative. I think I have no words to explain the impact that they, those results are going to make in the society, specifically for a country like India. Thank you.